Hey everyone, I'm Mark from Red Arrow Industries, and today I'm going to go over an easy and efficient way to create quick photo movements in Boris Red, an Avid Media Composer. So on my drive, I have several dozen stills that I've chosen to be in my edit. To start, I'll simply just import these into my project. So Avid imports these at your current project's resolution, this project being 1920 by 1080 which is causing my photos that are 4032 by 3024 to lose quite a bit of their quality. But for now, I'll add the Avid imported stills where I want them in my sequence so I have the correct names of each still I need to use on my timeline. Perfect! Now let's start adding the movement effects. Find the Boris Red effect, then drag and drop it onto your first still, and open up Boris Red. Since Boris Red is able to import our pictures at full resolution, our plan is to not only use this as our way to create the movements, but to also replace our lower resolution Avid imported stills. However, when I go to replace it, having so many pictures to shuffle through, it's a huge hassle to remember the one that I need. So here's a tip. Before opening up Boris Red, match frame to that still. Now when I open it up, I can shift my window down a bit and can now see the name of the still I need, making it much easier to find and search for in my folder structure. You can also see that compared to the Avid imported still, this new version is a much better quality. Next, let's test out a couple quick and easy movements you can try out. Click on the first frame, then going to the position window, you can change the interpolation of each control. For this, I'm going to stick with either linear or decelerate. Changing the X position to a linear interpolation, and then shifting it over some, I can copy the first keyframe with Ctrl C, and then paste it with Ctrl V onto my last keyframe. Now, you can adjust the X position on this last keyframe, preview it by hitting Ctrl 0, and then tweak it until you get it to look how you want. With this method, you can do all sorts of easy movements, including a fun zoom in and rotate using the decelerate interpolation, like this. So make sure to play around and explore your options. Once you get it to look the way you want, apply the changes, render the effect, and move on to the next one. This method may seem tedious at first, but it could potentially save hours of time when you're having hundreds of pictures to go through. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial, comment below. And if this tutorial helped you out, make sure to hit that subscribe button, then check us out on our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or at our website at redarrowindustries.com.